Brandira Reese left South Africa about 10 years ago to study at Oxford and Harvard. He brought that knowledge back to South Africa to help young entrepreneurs. He started the Aware to Incubator four years ago to help entrepreneurs from under-resourced communities in the country. Let's look at models that actually work in an African context to identify talent and then let's invest properly in the development of people, not so that they can tell a nice uh, you know, spaza shop story where middle class people can pat each other on the back and say, isn't that sweet? But really to invest in that talent so people can grow real, sustainable, scalable businesses. A way to identifies new and existing entrepreneurs in low income areas. It then provides them with funding, skills and guidance. A way to also helps with startup capital. So that if you want to, for example, your dream is to open a, a restaurant in a fancy area in Joburg, we'll say, fine, let's start selling plates out of your mom's kitchen. There's no cost there, you can use this money, let's start making a living and let's learn about the restaurant business. And as you grow, we'll help you to access the resources you need to, to get to where your ultimate dream is, which is running that big restaurant. You know? Afro's Fast Foods is one of almost 100 businesses which are now part of the Awetu project. We started selling from outside nightclubs and we wanted to, to, to create more jobs, but we saw that we cannot even work for only weekends. Then we started, uh, uh, during the week, we started to sell pop and liver. And then we saw that uh, uh, we can work, uh, we can make chance for, uh, we, can, we can sell more food on during the week. Within a few months, Afro opened a second branch. Yes, we did the bookkeeping, but we uh, found out when we made our way to that, we were doing it, but not in a right way. So from there, we changed the the way we were doing things and they also helped us about the forecast of our business. A way to find its entrepreneurs by going out into the communities. The candidates are then put through a rigorous testing process. We're looking for the people who want to change their lives for themselves, who want to make money for themselves, who want to grow business for themselves, but also who want to be role models and leaders for their communities. In the next two years, Awetu is planning to expand its focus into the rest of the continent. Africa has a fairly underdeveloped informal economy, but Awetu believes that entrepreneurs can thrive anywhere as long as they're given the right tools and education. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.